Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be working on my sleeper golf known as Victoria. Uh, we're actually gonna be changing some coil packs on her to some Velt Performance coil packs because of the fact that she is at kind of like a stage three point. I wanna make sure that we try to put as much supporting mods as we possibly can to make sure that she runs as healthy as possible. So although, yes, I do own a 1992 Nissan Skyline, this is my daily. Uh, this is what I call my sleeper golf, who she started out before uh, Skyla did, my Skyline. And um, pretty much we've done as much as we possibly can in the safest manner possible. Back in December, I did a dummy move and I did a money shift and it blew this bad girl up. So we turned around and I contacted the guys from APR and then I also had the guys from Eurofed turn around and we rebuilt this engine and we made it better and stronger than ever. So like I said, it's a 1.8 liter TSI engine is now running a Revo IS38 turbo in it and is tuned from APR. Currently, the dyno numbers that I have are from APR directly. So from what they read, it should be right around 370 horsepower and closer to 408 to 10 foot pounds of torque, somewhere around there. I could be wrong, but regardless, she is a little quick. I have her matched up with a carbon fiber intake from APR. CTS downpipe. Like I said, we're gonna do the Velt Performance coil packs today. And then we're also gonna be doing uh, some Audi RS7 spark plugs in her. And other than that, I think that's about it. I also have an ECS cutoff valve exhaust that comes off from the downpipe. So she is running a stock exhaust on the way back. But when I wanna go fast, I simply push a button. It opens the valve and we go fast. So like I said, without further ado, let's dive in and let's replace these coil packs. So when it comes to replacing coil packs, they're super easy. The first thing is first for me, I have to take off this big old engine cover here. Uh, and then I have super easy access to the coil packs. So as you can see, pulled off the engine cover and now we have uh, exposure to all four of our coil packs. All we have to do, unplug the bad girls, take off the ground and then take the actual bolts out itself and or stud. And then the coil pack should come out, replace the spark plugs and put the coil packs in. I'm sorry also, by the way, if uh, it's hard to hear, as you can see, it is currently raining. That is why we're doing this now under some cover. So anyways, if you've never heard of Velt Performance, these guys are awesome when it comes to the European ignition systems, um, especially with their coil packs. And they also help you out by hooking you up with a package deal where you can get um, the right spark plugs that you need. So these are Audi RS7 spark plugs. So yeah, it should pair nicely. First things first, I'm actually gonna take off the first nut, as you guys can see on top, cause it's actually connected to the ground, which is connected to the plug. Once I take that off, then I'll unplug these bad girls. And now that I've taken the nut off and was able to remove the grounds, I can just simply unplug these coil packs. And typically you use like a uh, plastic screwdriver or something like that to get these off. I don't currently have that. So I'm having to use just a flat head, but with a really, really big head. So I don't actually hurt any of the plastic. So you just simply pull up these tabs right here. Yeah, they're unplugged. Now we're gonna take these studs out right here and then we'll be able to get the coils out. <clears throat> All right, so after you get that set out, what should happen is it should pop right out. Let's see, boom, just like that. And that's how to take a coil pack out. Now I just talked to my tuner and he actually said that he already put Audi RS7 spark plugs in. So we don't need to change those. So I'm just gonna drop in the Velt Performance coil packs and we should be good to go. Old ones are out, time to put the new ones in. Now, typically when you go to change your coils and your spark plugs, they'll actually give you some kind of grease to go on the threads of the spark plug. And then also the bulb area of the spark plug. That way when you take the coils out, it's super easy and it doesn't get stuck or break or do anything crazy like that. For me, I actually don't have any of that grease and I don't think I'm gonna be taking out those spark plugs because they are already the Audi RS7 ones. So we're just gonna stick these ones in and call it good from there. And like I said, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our coil and then we're just gonna push it on down in. Make sure we get that plug out of the way, but push it all the way down in. And then once it's seated in there, we're just gonna put the stud back on, plug it in, ground back on, and we'll be good to go. Quick side note, by the way, guys, if you have studs like this that attach to the coils to make sure that they don't pop out or do anything crazy, do not over tighten these. If you over tighten these, one of two things are gonna happen, either one, you're gonna break that bolt in the top of the head and that's gonna be a pain in the butt and plus your coil is not gonna be secure. Or 
you're gonna strip that threading to the head and then that coil will never be secure and this bolt will never tighten. So just tighten it to where it's snug and then grab the coil and make sure that it doesn't move around. If that doesn't move around and it's snug, that's all you need to do. There's a certain amount of foot pounds that you can do, but typically it's like five foot pounds, which is really hard to find an actual torque wrench that does that low of a setting. So like I said, make sure it's snug, make sure the coil is snug and you should be good to go. Let's put the grounds on and plug this bad girl in and start her up. Now look how clean that looks. Looks very professional. Belt performance does an awesome job. I also wiped down my intake, so now it looks really clean. But being the fact this is a sleeper golf, they're gonna be hidden. So that's the only sucky part about sleepers, guys. If you wanna be big and flashy, don't look at getting a sleeper. A sleeper is supposed to be very sleek, undercover, not what you expect, so yeah. By the way, guys, the next step after installing your new part for the coils, put your car in accessory mode, let it learn itself really quick, I know I need to freaking replace the key battery in my key fob. Once everything's kind of learned itself, then you can start the car up. Boom, and just like that, she's good to go. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching that video on how to change your coils out. It definitely helps with supporting mods and definitely helping push more horsepower to the car. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And guys, make sure you go check out my website. It's themailman.com.co. Cop yourself some merch, take a picture of it, send it to me, and I'll definitely give you a shout out on Instagram. Like I said, I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.